Welcome back to SourceFed, I'm William Hanks. It's great that we live in a world where things like Kickstarter and Indiegogo exist. Not too long ago, if you wanted to do a project and didn't have the money, you couldn't do it. You had to be a loser. You know, with one of those dunce hats on. But now there have been a plethora of over-the-top campaigns on these websites. You may recall the one that aimed to raise enough money to make a potato salad that ended up garnering $55,000 because people are hilarious. You might recall the campaign that attempted to send two porn stars to space for sex-making video. Porn stars Eva Lavia and the guy whose name I forget because nobody looks at the dude. It raised a a little over $236,000 with a goal of $3,400,000, so that rocket's shooting blanks. But the next Kickstarter project you might be interested to hear about is the Freck Yourself campaign that makes fake freckles for you to put on your face as if that's totally normal. Sources state that it's a semi-permanent freckle stencil that lasts for 48 hours. Hold on, what does semi-permanent mean? That's like somebody saying, I'm kinda Chinese. You either are or you aren't. All you have to do is place the sticker in the appropriate place, apply a formula, and then bam, you freckled. You the Freck Master. Freck Master 10,000 is you. They should rename this from the freckle kit to the change your jeans you had the wrong daddy kit. If you paid attention to the world or seen that episode of How I Met Your Mother, you might know that there's a giant pile of trash and they, an island of trash sitting in the middle of the ocean because humans are terrible. But y'all knew that. This is the worldly equivalent of throwing your trash under your bed. We did it in the ocean. This is where they need to put the next installment of Finding Nemo. The island is called the Pacific Garbage Patch and it covers 700,000 square meters and floats between eastern Japan and the stretch of ocean north of the Hawaiian Islands. This is especially important since it's finally reached a size that can be seen from space. As stated in that episode of How I Met Your Mother, I think. Look, Japan, my other favorite country. This is our baby together. I bet there are Pikachus and McDonald's rappers filling pockets on this island. We gotta do something about this. The guy who found the island a racing boat captain, Charles Moore, believes that the monstrosity would bankrupt any country to clean it up. I don't know if that's true though. And now there's a whole campaign aimed at cleaning it up. I appreciate you for trying to clean this, but don't you realize it'll never happen because people can't see it yet? Best believe that if this thing at its same size and intensity was off the coast of Santa Monica, humans would have cleaned it up a decade ago. Oh, we can't lose potential tourist money over some straws and the beer thing that strangles penguins? I bet we'd find the money somewhere. Well, the ocean cleanup project is estimated to cost around 20 million sterling, which is about 30 million US dollars and they've already crowdfunded half of it. The project is currently in the testing stage. This is incredible. We didn't need the porn movie in space. We needed this. You might be wondering what exactly it is that they're planning on doing. They plan on using a 100 kilometer long boom to scoop it all up. So basically a giant pooper scooper. Once the project is running in full force, the ocean cleanup plans to start funding itself with a retail line consisting of recycled plastic clothing. That's genius. That's. That's, that's a good one. It's also cool to realize that the CEO of this company, Boyan Slat, as seen here wearing jeans made from recycled ocean plastic, is only 21 years old, thus making him a 90s kid. Oh yeah, we're gonna save the planet. Anonymous has declared cyber war on ISIS and they've already gotten hundreds of purported Twitter accounts banned from the service. Metro.co.uk reports that the hacking vigilante group published this week a list of 900 ISIS-related Twitter accounts that have now been suspended by Twitter. My question is, how do you guys know? I know there's like a check mark on Twitter that makes people feel better about themselves, but is there like a secret notification that says you do f***ed up shit. and that's how anonymous knows what their Twitter accounts are it should be like a little like a little fist symbol like mmm I do violence sources suspect that even though it's easy to just open new accounts it's still hard for them to build up a new following and share their messages that way anonymous is clearly one of the least fearful groups of people we've seen in the past century they've gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Westboro Baptist Church the Ku Klux Klan and even the North Korean government each time with different end results so nobody really knows what could possibly come of this so what do you guys think do you think anonymous can win this battle do you think adding freckles to your face is okay. Do you think we can destroy Trash Island? Oh, that's how we can get Americans to care. Pretend like there's something we gotta blow up. America, send some of our drone thingies over there. Make it go boom on the trash. And let me know in the comments down below. I'm William Haynes. Oh, and are you familiar with our clothing site, forhumanpeoples.com? It's the number one place to buy unique merchandise inspired by your favorite pop culture icons. They got leggings that are vibrant and some say inspire greatness. Use the coupon code SOURCEFED for a one-time 10% discount on your entire order. Have a nice day. I can't sleep at night. Hey, I, you would shoot your dick off, Will. I would shoot. I'd be I'm one of those people. Well, I would be one. No, he's not. All right, I'll take it off. Can you help me? Oh. That's a joke.